Imagine. Imagine a world where boundaries no longer exist. A world where you're free to become everything you've ever dreamed of. So many of us go through life without this one realization. Everything is a choice. From the clothes you wear, to the food you eat or the people you associate with, all of it is a choice. So what happened? We forgot. We're taught from childhood that you finish high school, go to college, get a good career, raise a family and grow old. We're taught that money will buy us happiness and that material things are the most important commodity. We're told that status is everything, that it's who you know. We learn through group think and social conditioning that to go against the grain is wrong, that to walk an opposite path is shameful. But worst of all, we're unwittingly taught to ignore our critical brains. We value technology and material things over human connection and love. For to be human means to love, not just yourself, but others around you. No matter their race, religion, or creed, to be human is to embody compassion and kindness, to hold the door for that stranger with their hands full of groceries, to help someone in need, and to stand up for those who cannot stand by themselves. What if we chose joy? What if we chose happiness? Look at your life. Look at the decisions you're making. Look at your interactions with people around you. Look deep within yourself and ask, what could I do right now to help someone? Every single day of our lives, we experience moments in time that we'll never get back. But the one thing that stays are the memories. The memories of those you have loved, of those you have helped, and of those who helped forge you into the person you are right now. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, we feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent, and all will be lost. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Above all things, above everything else, never forget that you are loved.